Welcome to Berry Picking, the first Autopolitan 2 mini event. Mini events are smaller events that will occur between main events that for less points. In these events, the cars may compete side by side or one by one. For today's events, three cars will be competing at one time. Their goal is to be the first to disable the Berry. First up, the Wayfarer, the Urban Sport, and the El Chupacabra. However, this is not an ordinary Berry. This is the Raspberry. The original berry. This modified original berry is quite quick and should pose a decent challenge to our competitors. Now without further ado, let's begin the first round. In three, two, one, go. Wayfair off to a really early lead, immediately pinning out the berry. However, the berry is now just gonna go the other way. Wayfair trying to come back and capitalize on its early victory, but it cannot. It appears the others are stuck. It appears just the Wayfair is going to be able to chase down the Barry right now. The Barry does not seem to have sustained major damage from that impact. And it looks like it might be getting away. Way in the distance, the El Chupacabra is catching up. Will it be the one to catch the Barry? The Wayfarer has lodged itself into a tree, and the Weep appears to be stuck in the sand. Perhaps the Rally Sport would have been the better way to go. The Berry still just going along its merry way. The El Chupacabra was closing in, now turning around. Uh, now stopping again, now turning around. Wayfarer is still stuck in a tree. The Weep is now also stuck in a tree. The Berry is escaping. With the El Chupacabra being the only remaining functional contestant, this round will go to the El Chupacabra, which is lucky for it because now it's just doing donuts. Next up is the Deluxe Box, the Nopal, and the Fatal. If the Fatal has any hopes of winning this event, its best bet is probably just to rush the berry right off start. Otherwise, it's unlikely it's going to have any chance of keeping up on these very unstable corners. And round two will begin in three, two, one, go. Fatal going for that early hit, and it gets it. The berry not sustaining heavy damage from it. However, it is definitely going to impact its continuing. The Fatal unrelenting in its attack. It is very unlikely the berry is going to be able to get back on the road after this much, this much damage. Nopal coming in, ramming, actually helping the Barry get back onto the road and escape. The Luxa Box is absolutely stuck. It appears the cars are now pushing the Barry back onto the road. However, it appears that the Barry is technically disabled. Or is it going to escape here? I think it might just be too damaged in the rear to actually be able to move on, move substantially on its own. In that case, the winner of this round is the Fatal. Next up is the Accolade, the Zoe, and the Common Turismo 1000. This round will begin in three, two, one, go. The Zoe going in for an immediate hard hit. The Barry trying its absolute hardest to get away. Oh, it's just got pitted by the Zoe and all of the cars have passed it. They're now struggling to turn around in an orderly fashion. The Barry has tried to steer around, it's tried to steer around the roadblock, but instead it has simply pit itself in a ditch. The question is who will claim the points for the immobilization? Next car to touch the berry will win this round. Nope, the berry has freed itself, only to get stuck again. The board is now having serious regrets on how this challenge was organized. I'm hearing from the officials that they are beginning to think that this event was not thought through. I'm hearing now that they are just asking to run it again. And back off, the berry again going for a nice little to getaway. The Zoe not quite hitting as strongly this time, giving the Barry a chance to get ahead. Common Trees 1000 has apparently rear-ended and wedged itself onto the Accolade, meaning only the Zoe has to fight for this win. Zoe and the Barry now facing down. 
Zoe not going to relent against it. Zoe trying to block the berry did not work. It's going to have to turn around quickly and get back on the road. It appears to have gotten itself stuck. Meanwhile, the berry is escaping and the other two are still failing. Unfortunately, as none of the pursuit vehicles are still functioning, there will be no winners for this round. On to round four. In round four, the McLara, the SLFE, and the Wallaby SS. The Raspberry is permitted a head start against these cars. Now that it is rounded the corner, they will be in pursuit. And they are off. The McLara absolutely just destroying everyone else in speed. The Wallaby getting pushed off the road immediately. The SLFE missing the corner and snapping back onto the main road. It's missed its turn and now it is forced to reverse back onto the right road. The McLara appears to have gotten into some sort of an accident. Question remains if it's going to be able to get itself out of this. The Wallaby back on the road. It is the only car now without major damage. Raspberry absolutely unbothered by everything going on. The SLFE has gotten itself stuck. That is an unfortunate end. The McLara, oh, it appears to have actually lost one of its wheels. That is not going to be recoverable. The Wallaby, I'm unsure what it is currently doing. It appears to just be very confused. However, as the Wallaby SS is the only car that is not critically damaged, it will be winning this round. And this brings us to the final round of this event. Our three winners, the El Chupacabra, the Fatal, and the Wallaby SS, will compete against each other to decide who gets those three points. However, it should also be noted that the Autopolitan officials deeply regret their decision to do this event, as it hasn't gone nearly as smoothly as they were hoping. However, these three cars will not be chasing a berry in this final event. The Autopolitan officials have decided that for the final event, they should be chasing something a little bit more difficult to catch. This is the Prisma Symphony. With over 300 horsepower and weighing in at under 3,000 pounds, this is a very quick and nimble performance car. So the question is, who will be catching the Symphony? The event will begin in three, two, one, go. So the Symphony has reached the end of the bridge and gotten absolutely smashed by an Australian. That was quite a bit shorter and a lot more aggressive than any of us at the Autopolitan here were, were expecting. Uh, we realize now that it is going to be very unlikely that we will be getting our deposit back on the Prisma. Anyway, the Wallaby SS has won this mini event. Uh, I must now leave you now. We are going to go and consult with our legal team about the repercussions between the damage and the city damage. Uh, the officials are probably not going to be having a good time now. Uh, yes. Anyway, we hope you've enjoyed this event, and uh, we hope to see you next time. <laughs> uh.